In this question, we have a sector of a circle, radius 9.5. Now, they've labelled this bit 9.5, but this length here is also 9.5 centimetres, really important. We've got an angle in between the two sides, and then we're being asked to calculate the line of AB, the straight line AB. Now, what jumps out at me is to use the cosine rule. So I can, um, I'm going to label it, I think. I'm going to like sort of temporarily get rid of these. Call this one C, this little C. And then we've got A and B. And we can write down that C squared is A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cos capital C. And that means in our case, AB squared is going to be 9.5 squared plus 9.5 squared minus 2 times 9.5 squared times cos 25. If I add them together, it's the same as times in 2. Sixteen point nine one one. So AB is going to be the square root of that. Four point one one two three. That's really important to not just give a rounded answer. Write a little bit out first, and then round it. And in A level, give non-exact answers to three significant figures. So four point one one centimeters. If you're in any doubt, like this is why you do it. You write it. You write it exactly. Because then, even if you round it incorrectly or don't round it to as many, you know, you round it too much, you've got your original answer there. In B, we're asked to find the area of the segment shaded in the diagram. The segment is this little bit here. So to do that, we need to find the area of the sector and minus the area of the triangle. By the way, I should have said for uh, A, you could use the sine rule as well. You could, uh, because this is an e equal, uh, sorry, an isosceles triangle, you could work out these angles and you've got an angle side pair. That that will also work. Actually, let me just talk a little bit more about it. So it's going to be 155 when you do 180 minus 25 divided by 2, which will be 77.5. And then you've got an angle side pair, one of which you don't know, and an angle side pair, one of which you do know. And you could write down that C divided by sine 25 equals 9.5 over sine 77.5. Arguably this, you know, this is a bit quicker, I think. Okay, we get the same answer. Right, back to this part B. The area of the sector, well, a full circle is pi r squared, so it's going to be pi times 9.5 squared. But in this case, we don't have a full circle. We've got 25 degrees of the 360 degrees, so we times by that fraction. And then we're going to minus the area of the triangle which we've got two sides and the angle in between. We don't have a perpendicular height anywhere, so it's going to be a half AB sine C, or a half times 9.5 squared times sine 25. Uh, I think I'd be tempted to calculate each and then subtract.
19.0706. Okay, I've got this last one stored as my ants button, so I'm going to get 0.6187. Which I'll again round to three significant figures, so 6, 0.61. Nine technically centimeters squared.